Good evening and welcome. Uh, we're just waiting for the band and the orchestra to come back in. They're putting their instruments away and then they'll come back and sit down. Um, but uh, please give another round of applause for Mrs. Thornton and the band and orchestra. Those are the players from all of eighth grade from both the Comets team and the Apollos team. Uh, if you're still looking for a seat, there is a bunch of seats up front. Uh, you don't have to play any instrument or anything. You can just kind of come and sit down, and, uh, and we will are just still waiting on the band and orchestra to come in, and then we will get started. just getting seated we practice this so as you saw as you see it's working out as flawlessly as we practice it <laughs> So here we are now, and to start off, we're, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, and to lead us, we have Jacob Donahue and Miles Vieira, so if everyone could please stand. Wait, so am I supposed to talk into it? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. There are still some seats in the front. If you want to pull the seats around, you don't have to take the music stands or anything like that. And there are some seats out and around. Um, but hello and good evening. And thank you for coming to this very special occasion that we are all here for tonight. Um, a, for me, again, it's kind of amazing to sit and think about this and, and have this night kind of happen. And uh, now running through my brain, because I get to do it last night and then I get to do it again tonight, is that a lot of the kids were here last night that are in the chorus and band, and they said, Mr. Gagan, I hope you're changing your speech for tomorrow night. Uh, so now I got all running through my head that I got to say different things, tell jokes a little bit differently, and just make sure that it, it, it's different. Um, but uh, most of it is going to be the same. I hate to say it, but most of it is going to be the same. Um, when, when I think about this night, it's incredible because I've been watching your kids since they were in sixth grade. And whenever I think of them as sixth graders or any sixth graders, I think of them as just so tiny. And they come here so small. 
and you sit there and you as parents are always worried about it and anxious about them coming up to the middle school and uh, when we look at them they always seem so small compared to our eighth graders and the other day we had we had the fifth graders up here from HBB and MKG doing their little tour and when they're on their little tour they I don't know if you guys remember this but when you're on your little tour you're all wearing your different color fifth grade shirts so you're in your pink shirts and your blue shirts and your red shirts and your orange shirts and you're all roaming around that and it's just amazing to kind of see them during that time and a big part of what I presented to the fifth grade coming up and I actually had three students uh, that uh, did their ELA 2 giraffe project they also presented about getting involved and, and being involved and it was incredible to kind of think about and see and when I started to think about what I wanted to say about this group and the comets and the Apollo is the same but when I think about this eighth grade group I, I think about kids that are unbelievably involved and they're they're incredibly involved in so many different things so let me see if I can do this again from last night and see if it will work out even better than I did last night was that if you were involved in, in something I say, please stand up and then stay standing. And then hopefully we'll see by the end. Um, but if you were a part of student council, please kind of stay up. And for any time, sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, just kind of stand up. If you were part of Builders Club, stand up. Keep, stay standing. Everyone stay standing. If you're, if you're involved in student council, Builders Club, Art Club, STEM Club, Rubik's Cube Club, Chess Club, GSA, Math Team, Spelling Team, Debate, Intramurals, whether it was floor hockey, wrestling, basketball, or those indoor games, if you did yearbook, if you were involved in any of the three musicals or the three plays that we, we did, either stage, on stage, or backstage, uh, if you were involved with the talent show any of the three years, if you did cross country, fall or spring, if you played soccer here, please stand up. Field hockey, basketball, baseball or softball, hockey or twirling. If you were given a tiger band, if you were given a roar award, if you ever ate lunch in the cafeteria. <laughs> All right, yeah, bunch of doers. You can sit down now, you can sit down. They, they are definitely a bunch of doers. They are definitely a, a group of kids that get involved and are, are involved. And, and when I think about that, I, I think about that that is something we want to build within you and we want to build it within you. And we talked about this your whole three years you've been here it is 21st century skills. And when I think about it, we, we have all those 21st century skills. Mrs. Delano has it in the title of her class, but you didn't just learn it in ELA 2. You learned it and practiced these skills throughout your years here and at NMS, in your classes as well as whatever you participated and got involved in. Ms. McQuarrie, Ms. Anderson, and Ms. McMahon had you learning math, skills that you always use and find yourself using when, when you least expect it. They have you, they made you problem solvers. And that's what we need in this world, are problem solvers. Being able to look at something and be able to figure out, okay, what, how can I get to it and how can I tinker with it and, and change it? Ms. Gowan Chung has taught you about how the government works. For you all, we'll be the ones that, that run our government soon. And, and what we're gonna depend on you later on as to make things fair and make it right. Mr. Redpath has taught you how to question why and learn how things work. And that's what we want. We want you to be able to question and see why is it this way? And if it's, if it's that way, is there a better way of doing it? And Ms. Flaherty, Ms. Flounders, Ms. Larkin, and Ms. Schomburg schooled you in literature that showed you how people struggle and how you get through and how you fight that and, and how dreams can be accomplished just like the three doctors. All of these skills are the ones we want you to learn and we want you to learn them so much more than just how to write an essay 
or divide fractions or the politics of other world cultures. All your teachers from, from sixth grade through Unified Arts here at Nichols Middle School are making sure we're teaching you to be students of the world and successful in your lives. We want you to be the best you can be in anything you choose. Please understand that, please know that. Out of all the things that your teachers taught you, know that. Know that the Nichols Middle School will always care about you and how you do in your future. Those are the 21st century skills that we want to teach you. Those are the things that we want you to, to understand is how to care and how to care about things and to get involved with things that you do care about and show that you care about it. Over the course of the year and your three years here at Nichols, you have grown immensely. You've made mistakes and you've learned from them. That's what middle school is for. Today, I, it was awesome to see you get excited about field day and you're all now sun-kissed uh, by, by, by not really wearing any suntan lotion, but that's something you're gonna learn about better. Um, but, but those are the things that we want you to be. We want you to still be kids. And, we, and when we look at you, and when we look at you last Friday night, and you're all dressed up, and the boys actually look like they're sharp-dressed men, and the women look like they're 17, 18, 19-year-old women, and it kind of makes us all nervous, that those are the things that kind of scare us. But yet then today, we watch you having fun, running around, singing and dancing, and it really, again, kindles in us that you are still kids, and we still know and care about how you're going to be later on. And that's something that we want you to understand. Now, some of you might think that this day is kind of sad because, oh, this is the, one of the last days here at Nichols. We don't want you to think about that. We want you to think that this is a great day. And this next day and the day beyond is that these, these doors are closing, but new ones are opening. And you're the ones that made that happen. You're the ones that made sure that where you're supposed to be and how you're going to be. You are such an unbelievable, wonderful group. And uh, I have a little comment later, but I'll, I'll say it right now that uh, a lot of times we look at classes and we think about them and we're like, oh, it's that class. And we definitely don't think that about this class. This class was an awesome class. And I say that line every year. But, uh, but this, you are really, really special, and, and we want you to understand that, and we want you to understand that this night tonight is about you and for you, and it's for your parents to see how great you've been. And with that, I welcome you to the John T. Nichols Middle School Cla Class of two 2017 Apollos Awards Night. Thank you very much. At this time now, we have Mrs. Young and the chorus from both the Apollos and the Comets are going to come up and they're going to sing us a song.
Can we give a round of applause for the chorus and Mrs. Young? Those of you going to the high school, you're never gonna hear that song ever again. Well, I take that back. Every time you walk through the doors, you hear that song. Or if you're just around Mr. Brannigan, it sometimes just happens just naturally. Uh, at this time now, we're gonna start off with our awards. And our first award is our English award being presented by Mrs. Flaherty. This year, the recipi recipient of the Mildred K. Stearns for Excellence in English goes to a student who has shown exceptional skills in both reading and writing. This student began the year very quiet, but has turned out to be a shining star when it comes to discussing literature. In addition, the student goes above and beyond, adding personal touches to projects and writing assignments. Finally, this student had the overall highest average in ELA for the year. It is with great pleasure that I award the Mildred K. Stearns Award for Excellence in English to Julia Massey. Our next award is Miss Delano for ELA 2. The Marianne Fisher Award is given to a team of students for excelling in 21st century skills, including communication and collaboration, thinking critically, and demonstrating creativity throughout the school year and during their end of the year giraffe projects. This year's award goes to team Get Involved for their research around social anxiety and presentation to incoming sixth grade students and their parents, Katie Benson, Caroline Conley, and Cami Morano. Our next awards are math awards, and first we have Ms. McQuarrie. Hi, um, I have two awards to present as I teach two different math classes. Um, the first one is my pre-algebra award. Um, this goes to a student that I just couldn't keep up, keep up with all year. Um, always finishing assignments early, I could never Never be fast enough to put that assignment in digits. Um, half the time she had a 100 average. Um, my award goes to Sky Myers. The other class is the algebra class, which is a high school curriculum. Um, this is a student who constantly had 99s and pushed for that 100, always made corrections, always went the next step to get a higher score, had the highest average of every student of all of my math classes, um, always putting in the extra effort. This award goes to Aileen Petty. And our next math award is presented by Mrs. Amy Anderson. Good evening. My name is Amy Anderson, and I'm the second math teacher that services both the Apollo and Comet team for the eighth grade. This year, I am finishing a two-year loop with these students. I was their seventh grade math teacher, and we had so much fun, we decided to pack it all up and go down to the eighth grade floor together. It's been wonderful to see the growth in students. And the student I'd like to honor tonight is one that was very quiet when I started with her. And she hardly spoke. And the more we kept working, and she confessed me as a seventh grader, she was not a good math student. And we worked really hard, because I told her she was wrong. Because every kid can be a good math student. Because math is everywhere, and that's really our overarching 
you know, goal all the time for math is not, it's not about just fractions and integers and it's about a greater sense of problem solving and wanting to see connection. Right now, I would really like to um, give this award to Jalen Benedict. Our next award is our science award, and to award it is our science department chair, Mr. Redpath. Good evening. Pardon my uh, raspy voice. I think I lost it out there somewhere today on the uh, soccer field with the Olympics. The winner of this year's science award is a young man who showed a deep passion for science and showed it in a very quiet way, but a committed way. He came to my dial blocks for robotics. He came from my dial blocks for the Google Expedition photographs that we took. He excelled in science throughout the year, and it gives me great pleasure to award this science award to Maged Gohard. I will make sure he gets it. Uh, our next award is our History Social Studies Award, and it's uh, chosen by Ms. Gowan Chung, but she unfortunately was unable to be here tonight, but Ms. Flaherty is willing to step in and to award this tonight. These are Ms. Gowan's words. This year's winner of the incredibly prestigious Excellent in History Award not only embodies everything a true academic must possess, namely a sharp intellect, above average analytical skills, a shrewd mind for piecing together the real story of history from the evidence, but this individual also possesses creativity, a unique approach to the curriculum, and an overall exuberance about the subject that is contagious. It is for all these reasons that this year's winner is none other than Cami Morano. Look, and you get a last look along with your certificate. Thank you, Ms. Flaherty. Our next award is the Yes You Can Hoyts Award, and it's being delivered by Ms. Kate Hitu. Hello. On March 18, 2016, Dick Hoyt visited the Nichols Middle School and gave a powerful presentation on overcoming the odds and pursuing your dreams. Team Hoyt's motto, Yes You Can, promotes the message that you can do anything that you set your mind to. The Yes You Can Award is given to a student who has persevered through challenges presented to them throughout middle school. Despite these challenges, this student has continually moved forward and achieved success. So the Yes You Can Hoyt Award for the Apollos goes to Jacob Vallat. <laughs> yes, you can. Our next award is a Perseverance Award, and it will be given out by our ELA teacher, Ms. Schomburg. Like Mrs. Anderson, I had the pleasure of looping with my students as well for seventh and eighth grade. And when considering the Perseverance Award, I wanted to consider one of my students whose school wasn't always the easiest for him, but he made it through and he persevered through middle school. So I'd like to present this award to Nathan Byther. Our next set of awards are Unified Arts classes, 
And to present the first is our Technology Award, and it's by Mrs. Falconer. As we navigate through the world of technology, I'm sure we can all agree that we must possess certain qualities in order to find success. Patience, flexibility when things don't go as planned, determination to follow a project through to the end, creativity when plan A does not work out, and most importantly, the ability to remain calm. The student I chose for the technology award possesses all of these qualities and then some. More importantly, he's a very kind student and always would greet me with a smile when he arrived to class and wished me a nice day when the class had ended. This year, the Technology Award goes to Adam Montross. Our next awards are our STEM awards, and to award them are our STEM teacher, Mrs. Majewski. I guess when you're giving out the awards, you should probably grab them first. All right, so uh, in case you aren't aware, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Um, I've had the privilege of actually having your kids for the last three years. This is my first class that have had me all three years, you poor, poor children. Um, I have chosen a, a boy and a girl. Um, my first student, the funny thing is, when he came in in sixth grade, he was quiet. He was a little bit maybe awkward, but he was very, very smart. And he really, really gets engineering. He gets STEM, he gets technology. And I've seen him mature and grow into an amazing young man who I have no doubt has a fantastic future in science, technology, engineering, or math. So the young man I have chosen for my outstanding STEM student this year is Cole Hastings. Now for my young lady, I promised her I wouldn't make her cry, but I lied. Um, the young lady I have chosen, you know, I love all the kids. They're fantastic, but once in a while there's just a great kid that catches your attention, and not just because they're a fantastic student, but because they're just a really fun and fantastic human being. And this pretty much defines who she is. Um, she's a very hard worker, and if she went into science, technology, engineering, and math, I'd be very happy and excited. Um, but I, did, I couldn't pick anybody else. I chose Mackenzie Still. Our next group of awards are our physical education and health awards. And to present them are two of our phys ed teachers. We have Miss Enos and Miss Rich. Mr. Thompson was here, I don't know where he went. Uh, but first up is the Health Award, which Ms. Shul gives to a student who grow, shows a lot of growth over the last three years. And that goes to Thomas Fitzpatrick. <laughs> and then for our PE Awards, we always look for the kid who, no matter if it's their favorite unit or their least favorite, they come and they try, whether they're great or not, they just kind of go with it. Uh, so first up is Tegan Ambrose. Are you doing the handle? Yeah, I'll do the handle. <laughs> Maybe you should have talked. All right, Jada Cochran. <laughs> Allie Connors. Gavin Davis. <laughs> I'm 
Natasha Plosky. And not sure where we were going with this one, Ryan Riley. through the Unified Arts. We now move to our music awards from Ms. Thornton and Mrs. Young. <laughs> Good evening. Just like all the other Unified Arts um, teachers, we are very lucky, Mrs. Thornton and I, we have your children for three years. Um, they are, as Mr. Gagan said, a really special class. They've done a lot of stuff and they are very, very involved. When we sit down to figure out who we're gonna give our general music award, um, Mrs. Thornton and I both have the students in general music. They have her for, for, part, for one of their classes every seven days and they have me for the other. Um, we go through and we pick and we try and we do process of elimination. Um, this student actually came to mind almost immediately for both of us. I can't speak for what he did in Mrs. Thornton's class, but I will tell you that he is creative, um, a problem solver, and he wrote really probably one of the best, and I won't explain it to you if you want to know, you can ask me, called the Lego Pentatonic Compositions that I ever had in all of my classes. Um, and so the General Music Award goes to Russell Knightlick. So a long time ago when I was in middle school, um, eons and eons and eons ago, um, my choral teacher and my band teacher also had what they called the unsung hero. That's the person that is just always quietly there, doing the right thing, the person you can depend on the most. This young lady I have seen grow from this quiet, quiet little sixth grader who I, who I don't think she said hello to me once the entire sixth grade year. Um, asked, me, asked me a question, did anything. In seventh grade, she got a little bit more bold, and then this year, she actually tried out for the musical. She was in the musical, she was wonderful in the musical, and she has been a leader this year in um, eighth grade chorus, and that is our unsung hero, Emma Campbell. So I have two awards for this one. Um, we do a chorus award, the overall great person who, does, who works the hardest, who is, I could have given it to all of them, but um, I did choose to. This first one came to us in seventh grade. She blew our minds when she came and auditioned for our musical last year, the Susical. She, again, was amazing in our musical this year, and she has been a leader in chorus to the point where I could, I think she could run chorus rehearsal if I asked her to, although I don't know if I would. Um, they made me a card for my birthday last week, and she said I made her dream come th true because I let her play an elephant. So the chorus award goes to Julia Massey. This last young lady I was cleaning today, which we are often do at this time of year, and I found two notes from her, which made me cry. Um, she is a lovely, lovely young lady, always smiling, always happy. She will do just about anything you ask her to do um, and works hard at it and does her very best. And she has just grown into the most beautiful singer, I will have to say. I hope she keeps singing somehow. Um, the next course word goes to Aileen Petty. Good evening. Uh, my name 
name is Eliza Thornton, and as we've mentioned a couple times this evening, this is a very special class for us. Um, this is a class that I've known before they came to the middle school. I met a lot of them when they were just about two or three years old, um, when I first came to town and started hanging out with their parents, who are other teachers in town. and. Um, I babysat for some of them. I saw some of them in Girls Club and Girl Scouts, and I, one of them was even the flower girl at my wedding. So this is a, a very special group, um, and uh, they've been wonderful to work with and wonderful to watch grow. Um, we've had a lot of performances recently, so we've been spending a lot of quality time together. Um, and I have a couple of awards to give out for orchestra and band and SEMSBA. Um, let me start with let me start with the orchestra award. Um, the orchestra award goes to a student who excels in orchestra, plays a stringed instrument. You saw them playing this evening with the band. Um, and this orchestra is small but mighty. This orchestra works very diligently, and this student in particular, um, while not taking private lessons or or auditioning for SEMSBA in district was one of the most diligent practicers we've ever worked with. She'd stay after school. Um, she participated in the Y program, and most days after school, I could hear her practicing in the orchestra room um, and getting in many, many hours and getting better every time. And uh, the diligence of this young lady is really quite remarkable. And it's my privilege to give this award to Emily Franklin. <laughs> Okay, um, this next student is getting two awards. Um, a couple of these students are gonna get two awards, actually. Um, we have an organization in this part of the state called SEMSBA, Southeastern Massachusetts School Band Masters Association, and they put on a few uh, festival every year, and our students have the opportunity to audition for this festival and go play with uh, other elite students from other schools in the area. And we have had several students in this group participate in SEMSBA. Um, so I am going to call them both up right now. I want to make sure I have the right certificates. So I would like to present the SEMSBA awards to Garrett Bingham Moss and Clara Anderson. They're going to have to stay for just a minute so I can talk about them and embarrass them slightly. Um, Garrett and Clara are also recipients of two other awards. Um, Garrett has auditioned for SEMSBA as a seventh grader and Junior District, which is an even more elite group from SEMSBA because it's a much bigger group. So the pool of students you're competing against to get those coveted spots is an even larger group. Um, and Garrett has been remarkably reliable for the last three years. He is our only trombone player and he is confident and he gets nearly every single entrance, so long as I've got his eye before we get started. Um, he's forgotten his instrument maybe twice ever in the three years and on a seven day rotating schedule, that's remarkable. Um, so I am very proud to present the band award to Garrett Bingham Moss. And since I asked her to sit up front, I think you might be able to guess who this one's going to. But this award is called the Alice Carey Award. And the Alice Carey Award goes to a student who excels in multiple performing arts, um, an instrumental performing art, um, often taking lessons outside of school on one or more instruments, participating in the plays, um, and other performing genres, dance, twirling, um, theater outside of school. Um, Clara. Um, plays in our orchestra, plays the cello. She has some background history in piano. She is one of our technical theater savants, one of our many that when I need buttons pushed in the back to make the magic happen in here, she's one of the ones who knows how to do it without thinking twice. And she's also uh, a highly ranked twirler. Um, and I do have a particular um, attachment to this young lady. And so Mrs. Young and I were sitting there and I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna choose Clara, but but we need to make sure that Clara is the best choice. And when Mrs. Young made me, told me her list, I said, well, yeah, that's obvious. It's not just because I like her or because she was the flower girl at my wedding. So I am very happy to present this Alice Carey Award to Clara Anderson.
and one more thing. Like Mrs. Young said, we were cleaning today, so we found some sentimental things, and I found um, rewritten lyrics to Seasons of Love that the orchestra rewrote about orchestra class a couple years ago, um, and the notes that I wrote for an award night a couple of years ago right on it. And this, was, this is my usual that I say at award night. Last night, my two-and-a-half-year-old daughter was here, and she was running amok in the lobby with Mrs. Anderson in hot pursuit. Um, so I was trying to be efficient last night, so I didn't sit, stand around to be sentimental. But I've got a couple minutes right now. Um, so this is a quote from the musical Wicked. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return. So let me say before we part, you'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. Thank you, eighth graders. Our next set of awards are the Art Awards, and they're presented by Ms. Jerry Ann Tucker. Now that I'm all teary-eyed from Mrs. Thornton's speech, that wasn't fair. I agree with everyone. This has got to be one of the most high-spirited, wonderful groups of young people I have ever worked with in my 100 years. And I, am, I will always remember you. I really will. Tonight, my first award goes to a young lady who participated in the National Lions Club Peace Poster Contest, and it's pretty significant. Her work was a beautiful piece that commemorates such a fantastic global theme of celebrating peace. I'd like to present this award to Miss Sarah Delaney and Miss Abigail Fields. There were two, I'm sorry. Now in Art Club leadership, I give an award to a person tonight who has faithfully attended Art Club for the three years they've been here. And, and I mean faithfully. Even if I ever had to cancel, I'd hear it from her. I'd be, what, what do you mean no Art Club? And <laughs> so I was like forced to make it up at some point. Um, not only do they develop their own personal style at that point, but She's also a mentor to the younger people, helping them out, the new people that come in. So I'm really appreciative. And tonight's Art Club Leadership Award goes to Mrs. Emily Bellardino. Here, I'm amazed at the collaborative work of our students uh, who create the most gorgeous covers to our yearbook, and we've been doing it since uh, 2007. The students generate their own yearbook cover and back cover, and this year, if you have not seen it, it is remarkable, and it's all about future leaders, and that's what these guys are, for sure. And these special four young ladies were the designers of this year's yearbook cover. So if you wouldn't mind holding your applause for the four names, and then we can really applaud them. Miss Clara Anderson, Miss Emily Benson, Miss Leanne Melendi, and Miss Emma Shea Trottier. Okay. Now, the Scholastic Art Awards is really one of the most prestigious art contests offered to both middle and high school students. So work selected has to meet the highest standards possible. And I'm really proud to present this award to seven students. So again, if you would just hold your applause so we could hear all their names, and then we are going to bring the house down. <laughs> so, first off, Ms. Tegan Ambrose. Oh, listen, 
Miss Clara Anderson, Miss Caroline Conley, Miss Kayla Feria, Mr. Benjamin Madeiros, Miss Leanne Melendi, and Mr. Adam Montrose. most outstanding in visual art. This award is given to students. I have selected two on their team that continuously take it to the limit. They push the boundaries of imaginative thinking, and that's what will guide them into success in the 21st century. Really creative, imaginative, innovative thinking. So tonight, I would like to present this award to two students, and if you wouldn't mind, holding the applause again, just so we hear their names clearly. Miss Chloe Allendorf and Mr. Benjamin Maderos. You have a future, you have a future. Mr. Ben, what am I gonna do without you? I do want to say that Mr. Medeiros has been running drawing classes in my art club. Uh, I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, but he actually runs groups and he runs contests and it's just wonderful. And I'm going to ask if you wouldn't mind, I just would like four students to stand up in the, tonight, just stand right up. Miss Clara Anderson, David Campbell, <laughs> Ben Medeiros, and Mel Leanne Melendi. Okay. Well, you don't know why. The, the reason is because all four of these students have had their artwork selected to become part of the permanent student art gallery here at Nichols Middle School. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and if you wouldn't mind, eighth graders, take your portraits home off the boards as you leave tonight. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you, Ms. Tucker. If only we could bottle Ms. Tucker's energy, I think we'd all do a whole lot better. Um, our next set of awards uh, is our Student Council Awards, and uh, they say sometimes that the, that a school can't run without the secretary of the principal, and that's true. Uh, but uh, the the school really can't run without its student council, and these are the kids that run everything. We have we have two advisors, Mr. Rothmich and Ms. Hudson, but it's really student run, student led, and they are the ones that are the leadership of the of the school. They are the ones that do all the fundraisers. They are the ones that do the activities and organize it and help us out with many many different things. And, uh, and we wouldn't be able to do some of the great things that we do, the volunteer work that we do, without them. So I have a large list here of students to kind of list off uh, that were part of Student Council. And uh, I'm gonna read all their names and please just hold, their, hold your applause until the end. Uh, but they're for their committed service and dedication to the Nichols Middle School community, we have the President, Anna DeBona, Aileen Petty, Katie Benson, Emily Benson, Leanne Melendi, Eden Eugenio, Cameron Morano, Emily Franklin, Maya Dupuy, Jacob Donahue, Sky Myers, and Nevaeh Nelson. Please come up for your award.
Our next set of awards are our presidential awards. And uh, there's a letter that I have to read. It is from the White House. And, and I am, this is the letter here. I am pleased to extend greetings to your entire school as you gather to congratulate the winners of the President's Education Award. Education is a lifelong pursuit and offers countless rewards for those who strive for knowledge and work hard to achieve success. By setting high standards for yourself, by making the most of your educational opportunities, and by diligently working to reach your goals, you are well on your way toward realizing those rewards. I commend you for your academic and civic achievements, and I hope you will continue to pursue your educational goals. Your community and your country are counting on you. Melania, Melania joins me in wishing you continued success as we share the pride of your parents, teachers and friends. Sincerely, President Trump. Start with the gold. We're going to start with the gold awards and Mr. Thomas is going to read off the list of names and you're going to see how sensational this group is. Good evening, <clears throat> excuse me. The gold awards are given to students uh, who have achieved an overall A minus average or above in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and scored a 4 or 5 on both the ELA and Math Park exams. We have a lengthy list, so I ask you guys hold your applause so the students can hear their names. And students, when your name is called, please come up to the center of the stage. Chloe Allendorf, Clara Anderson, Cassidy Arena, Emily Benson, Katie Benson, Garrett Bingham Moss, Matthew Bradley, Joseph Childs, Jada Cochran, Allison Connors, Elizabeth Cook, Timothy Crowley, Sarah Delaney, Anna DeBona, Jacob Donahue, Gabrielle Evers, Kayla Farrier, Joey Filia, I messed that name up, Filiatro, sorry, uh, Ryan Franey, Emily Franklin, Cole Hastings, Travis Hewins, Erin Houlihan, Megan Labrie, Erin Levesque, Caitlin Levesque, Sarah McLeod, Julia Massey, Nicholas McGorthy, Leanne Melendi, Colby Mignosa, Noah Miles, Cameron Morano, Sky Myers, Russell Neatlick, Evan Parker, Emma Parziali, Eileen, Aileen Petty, Jordan Peebles, Justin Plosky, Zachary Reed, Sonia Rodriguez, Stephen Roy, Annette Small, and Mackenzie Still. And these are our Gold Award winners. All right, thank you guys. And then we're going to bring out our Silver Awards. And presenting our Silver Awards will be Mrs. Ray.
For the silver awards, students must have an overall A minus average for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade combined. So we still have quite a few students. It's so wonderful to see how many bright, bright students we have. Um, so if you can hold your applause till the end, um, but when you hear your name, come up just like the last group did. Um, Brady Bouchain, Taylor Bradbury, Sarah Calagero, Emma Campbell, Alexander Connor, Hunter Dondrea, Savannah Devlin, Maya Dupuy, Erica Early, Eden Eugenio, Caroline Conley, Victoria Connolly, Matthew Farley, Eva Fine, Shaylin Gallagher, Kayla Giamalvo, <laughs> Megan Gohar, Ashley Kelly, Bree LaBella, Aiden Larson, Leanne McDonald, Benjamin Medeiros, Adam Montross, Mark Swindle Jr., Shauna Trokey, and Kaylee Zukowski. Congratulations. Our Silver Award winners. Our next set of awards are some of our, our special awards. And the first one, uh, many of you know that our new superintendent is Mr. Brian Lynch. And his father was Lincoln D. Lynch and a former superintendent for over 25 years. And we have the Lincoln D. Lynch Outstuding, Outstanding Student Award. And the qualities for this award are consistent citizenship and promotion of solid work ethic within the Nichols Middle School community. And the Lincoln D. Lynch Outstanding Student Award for the Apollos is Emily Franklin. Our second award is the Alan R. Lindsay Award. Mr. Lindsay was the former principal of the Memorial Junior High School for, the, for over 25 years. The student qualities are leadership, academic excellence, and patience within the Nichols Middle School community. The Alan R. Lindsay Apollos Award for 2017 is Sarah Collegero. The next award we have is the John T. Nichols uh, Award. Tiger Nichols, uh, if we had a Mount Rushmore in Middleborough for educational leadership, uh, Tiger's name would be up there. He was a, a school committee chairman for over 20 years in Middleborough, and he believed uh, each student could achieve academic excellence. Uh, this award tonight goes to a student who's displayed a positive attitude, kindness towards others, and has continually strived for academic excellence. This award tonight goes to Justin Plosky. Our next award is the Fenn Carpenter Outstanding Student Award. Ms. Carpenter was a former physical education teacher for many years. Uh, work, student qualities are solid work ethic, practical approach to problems, and kindness towards others in the Nichols Middle School community. And our 2017 Fenn Carpenter Outstanding Student Award for the Apollos team is Anna DeBona. Next award is the Janine R. Washbourne Outstuding Stand-In Student Award. Um, 
Miss Washburn was an elementary school principal for many years in Middleborough, and she was actually the first principal here at Nichols in 1999. The qualities we look for in this student, consistent classroom leadership, enthusiasm, and dedication within the Nichols community. And the award goes to Aileen Petty. The next award is the Robert S. Welch Outstanding Student and Citizenship, Citizenship Award. Um, Mr. Welch was a former vice principal for many years at the Memorial Junior High School. Um, the student qualities for this are significant improvement in citizenship from the previous year or from the beginning of this year into the current school year and a real contributor to the Nichols Middle School community. This award goes to David Campbell. This next presenter uh, was a longtime educator in Middleborough. He uh, started his career back at the old junior high school, uh, and he was there when I was a student, so that was quite a long time ago. But he's a great man. Uh, he was an administrator here at the Nichols Middle School, and this award is named after him. I'd like to welcome Charlie Norvish to the stage. There are two reasons why it's great to be here. After spending 35 years in the school system, it's nice to come back one or two times a year. But more importantly, I'm alive and I'm giving out this award. <laughs> the Charlie Norris Superman Award goes to a student for outstanding work ethic encouraging to others, respectful to everyone, great sense of humor within the Nichols Middle School community. Please fly out to this stage, Stephen Roy. Our next award is the John R. Hilsebeck Television Award. Uh, Mr. Hilsebeck was a history teacher at the high school for many, many years. And about 30 years ago, he came up with the idea of TV production. Uh, it's a class right now taught by Mr. Pelletier, and it has uh, evolved uh, greatly over the years. And uh, it's something that uh, Mr. H Hilsebeck should certainly be proud of. All right, we have two award winners tonight for the John R. Hilsebeck Jr. Television Studio Award. Uh, the first is Jacob Donahue, and the second is Magdalene Bastarash. All those awards uh, were voted on by the eighth grade faculty and it takes them much time to kind of think about it and, and kind of weed through of who they want to select. And I just think it's awesome about how we try to spread them out and uh, give them to different kids and try to figure out the different qualities of each one. Um, and the next award is the MSSAA, which is the Massachusetts Secondary School Administrative Association, is the Principal's Award. And for me, it's kind of difficult. I have to sit and, and think about and, and weed through like which of these kids I want to I want to give an award to. And I, I would love, as people have said earlier this evening, that we'd love to give something to them, give something to everyone, and kind of have you here till nine o'clock tonight uh, of talking about each and every kid. Uh, but, uh, but it really comes down to that we have to select somebody. And this award for this year, uh, it really tries to signify outstanding contributions to the school. And uh, I did select two students for tonight. And I ended up trying to decide on 
who makes a difference? And that's what the award really stands for is who makes a difference. And these two young ladies, both I've watched grow and just uh, watch them in classes. And sometimes they're kind of shy and sometimes they're modest and sometimes they don't want to really be involved. But then they just get involved and they're just part of the whole community and the whole fabric of our school. And it's phenomenal to kind of watch them. And they're the, they're the types of kids that are involved with all the different things. They're involved in the student council. They're involved in some of the athletics. They're involved in the volunteer groups. And and they're here sometimes from from 7.15 in the morning all the way till 7.15 at night. And those are the kids that then go home, eat something real quick, and then get their homework done and they're prepared and they're studied and all the things that they go through in order to be great kids and great students. And they're more than that, they're great people. And, uh, and I'm very thrilled and very honored to give my award tonight to the Apollos team, to Eden Eugenio and Aileen Petty. And now at this time, we're going to end up uh, kind of congratulating all our students and everyone from the Apollos team. So their homeroom teachers are gonna come up and we're gonna have time to kind of call out their name and they're gonna get their little scroll and uh, then we're gonna try to roll this into the end of the evening. For the Apollo team, homeroom A100, Colby Allen. Akasha Budin. Timothy Crowley. Savannah Devlin. Maya Dupuis. Matthew Farley, Eva Fine, Emily Franklin, Aaron Houlihan, Dominic Janini, Aaron Levesque, Leanne McDonald, Benjamin Medeiros. Leanne Melendi. Cameron Morano. Sonia Rodriguez. And Aiden Ross. Homeroom A102, Cassidy Arena, Magdalene Basterash, Emily Benson, Sarah Collagero, Megan Costa, Gavin Davis, Gabriel Evers, Nicholas Foster, Shailen Gallagher, Kayla Giamaldo, Ashley Kelly, Cameron LaPierre, 
Nathan Latender. Sarah McLeod. Colby McNosa. Noah Miles. Emily Parziali. Zachary Reed. Ryan Riley. Maya Sprague. Mackenzie Still. And Kaylee Windsor. Home room A104. Michael Abin. Connor Barry. Nathan Byther. Emma Campbell. Oh, sorry, Taylor Bradbury. Emma Campbell. Joseph Childs, Ryan Conley, Allison Connors, Elizabeth Cook, Anna DeBona, Jacob Donahue, Connor Fahey, Alex Freitas, Cole Hastings, Katie Levesque, Danielle Makowitz, Sky Myers, Chris Papathanasiu, Jack Parziali, Aileen Petty, Paul Ramsey, Stephen Roy, Aiden Sanderson, and Miles Vieira. Homeroom A106. Julia Abandanza. Damon Acorn. Tegan Ambrose. Katie Benson, Jasmine Cahoon, David Campbell, Angelina Chase, Jada Cochran, Caroline Conley, Victoria Connolly, Megan D'Amato, Sarah Delaney, Kayla Faria, Andrew Fields, Joey Filiatro, Darnez Gomes, Brandon Linval, Julia Massey, Russell Knightlick, Nevea Nelson, Josh Newcomb, Jordan Peebles, Justin Plosky, Michael Pomerico, Ava Redlawn, Annette Small, Crystal Stein, Shauna Trokey, Brady Beauchene, Adam Montross, A107, Chloe Allendorf, Clara Anderson, 
Emily Bellardino. Jalen Benedict. Garrett Bingham Mass. Matthew Bradley. Erica Early. Eden Eugenio. Abigail Fields. Ryan Franey. Benjamin Fuller. Travis Hewins. Bree Labella. Megan Labrie. Damian McElroy. Nicholas McGorthy. Philip McNamara. Sean Mullaney. Gregory Nickerson. Annika Nordahl. Evan Parker. Gianna Penniman. Amanda Stickles. Mark Swindle Jr. Shea Trottier. Jacob Vallat. It's, again, it's kind of a journey that we have here that we start three years ago when they're in sixth grade and they come here and visit when they're in fifth grade and again we just kind of have them and we have that picture in our mind of them in their little colored t-shirts and then they come here and we start calling them the class of 2017 because that's the year that they kind of leave us but they're about to be called the class of 2021 because when they, when they leave us, they're now going to be called their high school term. And high school is class of 2021. And when I looked up on Google, like a, a symbol for 2021, there was a question mark for the first two and an exclamation point for the one. And that's exactly what this group is. They're very inquisitive. They're very energizing. They're very energetic, as you can see. And, uh, and that's where the exclamation point comes in. And they have definitely put an exclamation point on the year for us. At this point now, I just want to congratulate the Apollos class of 2021. At this, at this time now, what we're gonna end up doing is having them come down and we have a video that's produced by Mr. Adam Pelletier. And after the video, there's an ice cream truck outside for you considering no one has eaten dinner. So we end up feeding you ice cream.